Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you where photosynthesis occurs. Well, first of all, what is photosynthesis? Well, this is the equation and it's basically the process by which carbon dioxide and water are converted to sugars and oxygen, generally in green plants. The green is chlorophyll, which is a catalyst that enables radiation from the sun to allow this uh, process to go ahead. Now, where does this occur? Well, obviously, because it's a, a, an effect of chlorophyll, chlorophyll is the chemical that actually makes this happen, it happens in all green plants. If something is green, then it's green because this reaction is needed to make energy. Most commonly, of course, we recognise that trees have green leaves. They don't actually have to be bright green or any particular green. They can be various different greens. It doesn't actually matter. The radiation comes from the sun and is absorbed in the leaf, in the green part of the plant. Then this process occurs. Now, some, pe uh, some plants have needle-like leaves. Again, this is not important. As long as those leaves can get the sun, and as long as they can get carbon dioxide and water, water of course comes from the root, as long as they can get those elements, it doesn't matter where it is. Of course, if you look underground, you will find that there are very few green objects. You look at the root of a plant, it isn't green. The reason it isn't green is because there's no light, therefore there's no chlorophyll to turn that light or to use that light to turn carbon dioxide and water into sugars. So you don't create sugar in the roots of plants, because that's not what roots are for. So generally you will see that the green chlorophyll is contained in the stems and leaves of plants, those parts which are exposed to light. 